The US Navy released photos on Tuesday of its recovery effort of a suspected Chinese spy balloon which the US fighter jets shot down over the Atlantic Ocean this Saturday. The US Fleet Forces Command posted several photos on its Facebook page showing large debris of the balloon being hauled into a boat. The debris field was reportedly the size of 15 football fields by 15 football fields. The debris recovered is being taken to an FBI laboratory in Quantico, Virginia for analysis as the US looks to understand the capabilities of the balloon. Pentagon officials stated earlier that the balloon was about 200 feet tall and carried a payload weighing more than a couple of thousand pounds. Divers were required to swim to depths of over 13 meters to gather pieces of the device that had sunk to the ocean floor in the area. Most, if not all, of the balloon's fabric was retrieved from where it was floating on the water's surface. US officials had been tracking the balloon for several days by the time it appeared in the skies over Montana. President Joe Biden said over the weekend that he had directed the US military to shoot down the balloon as soon as it was safe to do so, but the officials said it posed a risk to the civilians and property on the ground. The balloon was ultimately shot down on Saturday afternoon by a single missile from a F-22 fighter jet out of Langley Air Force Base, Virginia. The operation was carried out by active duty reserve, National Guard and civilian personnel, according to the Navy's photo captions. The discovery of the balloon set off a diplomatic crisis with US Secretary of State Antony Blinken immediately calling off a weekend trip to China, the first such high-level US-China meeting there in years of the Irresponsible Act. China has repeatedly insisted that the airship is for civilian use and entered the US due to force majeure, it was completely an accident. On Tuesday, US officials said that the Pentagon sought to arrange a phone call between the Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and his Chinese counterpart after the balloon was shot down, but was rebuffed by China. Lines between our militaries are particularly important in moments like this. Defense Press Secretary Brigadier General Patrick Ryder said in a statement, Unfortunately, the PRC has declined our request. The Pentagon was also tracking a second balloon found floating over Latin America, which Defense Department spokesman Brigadier General Pat Ryder said it was assessed to be another Chinese balloon. China admitted ownership of the balloon on Monday, saying it was used for flight tests and had seriously deviated from its flight course by mistake. China is a responsible country, Foreign Ministry spokesperson Mao Ning said on Monday. We have always strictly abided by international law. We have informed all relevant parties and appropriately handled the situation, which did not pose any threats to any countries.